super clear cut yet. But, right. I mean, tweak one, so that that's was uh, everyone was expecting that at Genesis. So cool that tweak got to redeem himself and got first place at Frostblade, defeating Leo, the champion of Genesis. Right. Today. So that, that was really sick. That was a really cool game finals. Definitely. And you know, speaking of Frostbite and characters, uh, you know, when the game first came out, there was a lot of talk about. Young Link being one of the you know the top tournament threats as far as characters go, uh, but the character to my knowledge didn't really have too strong of a showing overall. Yeah, I think Young Link is actually one of the harder characters to play in the entire game. Yeah. So uh, it, it's that combined with like so it's, it's going to take time for Young Link to get really good and consistent with its uh, with all the confirmed stuff. But I don't feel like there's like super crazy talent gearing the character or like piloting the character. I, I think the best player that's playing Young Link has got to be uh, T from Japan. Uh -huh. uh, like the letter T. Right. Uh, and yeah, I mean, other than that, there's a bunch of other like really good players that play Young Link, but no one at that like super tippity top. Player. Right. They're, they're probably like, we'll say the the bottom of the top players, or the top of the high high level players. Uh, right. Sure. But not the uh, the top of the uh, the top tier players. Uh. But so far right now, uh, Dragon uh, actually taking a little bit of uh, an early lead and stacking on quite a bit of damage. He got a really good 52% string right. here, but you know, Raw back here is going to close it out here. Yeah, very good interrupt option. It seemed like you know Dragon was starting to run away with some momentum, but maybe got caught a little too aggressive in that situation. And um, I guess I'm going to mispronounce this, but Whale this? Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's Whale this. Yeah, Whale this, uh, you know, very good guard break to situation and got out of it. And you got Dragon going right back to it, throwing out all the projectile walls. It's interesting to see, you know, uh, as far as characters camping goes, some characters are actually able to out camp Rob. Oh, yeah, um, especially with all the different projectiles as well. Rob has the top, which is really good. Gets the roll covered with that up smash. Dragon doing a really good job, but can he seal the deal here down here? He is going to take it off the top here. Not the best DI yeah. from Waldis, but uh, nonetheless going to lose that sock. And yeah, just trying to get these projectiles going against this young link, but it's not working out. It doesn't look like he's able to really get the wheel turning, but this might be an opportunity. He has him off stage. Oh, uh, unfortunate. Yeah, great damage though coming out from the down tilt. Dragon just bracking it up. Wow, that up smash gonna fully connect there. The back air also hits his mark. Oh, the reflector, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing that uh Baldus does have to uh, just from his toolbox. One of the lesser seen usages of that move, because it's being, you know, it's being utilized definitely in the meta as that really potent off stage uh, yeah. finishing option, but the original intent from the designer was to use it as a reflector at some point. Yeah, I mean that was the uh, <laughs> I mean, back in the day, that was definitely the use of the move, but the Nair is going to seal it out. 159% Waldis is going to get two stock there from Dragon. Solid game one. We'll see if he can make the adjustments that he needs for game two. Definitely some uh, solid play overall from Dragon. Uh, you know, if you're, you're Waldis, I think uh, if you're Waldis, you just kind of, there are a lot of situations where you're kind of getting aggressive with the Nair pressure that led to eating a lot of unnecessary up smash damage coming through from uh, Dragon. Right. And then when you're Rob getting up smashed against uh, you know Young Link right above him, it's, it's trouble all the way around, no matter what. Uh, for a lot of characters, uh, Rob plays against if he's right above you, it's, uh, it's bad times <laughs> overall. For sure. Yeah, and I mean, Young Link is very unique in a sense that most characters don't have the greatest landing options, but you know, Young Link does have that down air. Um, mm -hmm. not, an, not a lot of lag, I mean, still very risk punishable, but not not the easiest thing to do. Right. And here we go, opening up and going right to that reflector. I think while this, uh, when he was sitting back and thinking about his game plan, he was like, I got hit by so many projectiles. Let's just see what happens if I throw that out in the neutral opening up. Yeah, but he's got to be careful. That move can get hard punished. It is uh, very, very laggy. So, I mean, it looks like he's not doing it too much now. Dragon opting to go more for some of these uh, Nair's butt goes right back to the projectiles, and Waldis knows exactly when he wants to go with that, go with that boomerang. So there's a boomerang confirmed into the forward air. Ooh, and him catching the boomerang actually prevented him from getting that other forward air follow. And all this again. after a little, kind of a strong start, kind of in a little bit of a, a little panic. It kind of doesn't seem like there's a lot of intent behind some of the movements, so like a lot of panic options when put into the pressure situations. And even right there, clean, uh, clean smash, and he's already down a full stop. 
Yep. Okay. There's a grab. Going to be some good damage here. The frame trap. Ooh, into the boomerang confirmed. Oh, almost gets another frame trap, but gets the roll behind into more damage here. And wow, already at 80%. Waldis needs to find an answer. Yeah, that, like 90% unanswered, and the uh, damage is still racking on. It's going to be red alert time here for the robot pretty shortly. Oh, almost catches that. No tech with the forward smash dragon, just barely missing its mark. It's the projectile wall, he can't get, get through. That's got to be frustrating. You just want to get in there and play some smash, but your opponent's just chucking everything that they have at you. Oh, gets the down throw into the up smash there. Perfect timing against that mash. Dragon going to lose his first off. He's going to a little bit more gyro play, uh, but unfortunately, again, got caught over aggressive trying to up tilt a young link that wasn't actually there and the counter hit with the forward smash. And the hits just keep on coming. Forward air follow ups, up air follow ups. Get ready for a down air follow up and a back air follow up shortly, too, because he's hitting with everything. Oh, yeah. Boomerang is going to pressure. Ooh, almost gets the back shot of it, too. And yeah, just Walt is having such a trouble, troublesome time getting in on all these projectiles. And he also has to deal with that disjoint as well when he does get into range. So, so much things to worry about here as Rob already on his last stock 150%. And the up, he should do it from the fire arrow confirmed. Dragon with a very solid tool. Yeah, Dragon trying to set up that uh, the video. He's trying to get footage for his combo video, it's like right there. <laughs> but you know the non the, the old school brawl style combo videos with the non guaranteed, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the little ones that hit, and he, he got all of them right there in game two. It just seemed like it didn't matter what button he hit, it did damage. And